Bijou a couple homers late, and then a pretty good pitch to Bijou that he hit for a double, and that was my day. Ruby made a really good pitch to Smoke, too, I think broke his bat and just got the bloop single, too. No, that wasn't good. a very good pitch. That wasn't um, a good pitch. It was a slider that kind of stayed up. And he was late or jammed him or something, but it, it wasn't really where we wanted it, and it was up in the zone. Did you think Gallup's ball was going to be clear? Um, I don't know. He kind of dove out over the plate to, to get it and scooped it up and got it in the air. And, um, I thought Bubba might, might uh, have a chance at it at the warning track or something, but it just kept carrying out. It's hard to get through four times through an order. We know that. But when you're going in with fewer pitches, I guess you tell me, is it harder to struggle to get through six innings with 100 pitches or harder to get through four times through the order with 80 or 90 pitches? My I mean, fourth time through the order is always going to be a little tough. They've seen you, seeing what you're doing that day, what your pitchers are doing that day. Um, but, I mean, Bichette hit a first pitch home run. So um, um, then I made some pretty good pitches, I thought, to, to Bijou. Uh, a couple change-ups down the way for a strike that he took. And then a two-seamer that was, from my angle, looked like bottom of the zone on the corner that was running away from him. And he just took it that way, made a good swing. Jake, what was your impression of Bichette from seeing the way the other guys pitched him and the way you pitched him today? Uh, he's a good player, a uh, really good player. Uh, I played with his brother in, in high school, and I've seen that kid since he was about 10 years old, and uh, he could always hit the ball. Um, he's scrappy, he plays hard. Uh, he's going to have a long, good career.